The oral cavity is also known as a buccal cavity. Okay, so when we think of this oral cavity, we have the roof is being formed by the palate. The palate we have the hard palate anteriorly and the soft palate posteriorly. Okay, so it is this palate that separates the nasal cavity from the oral cavity. So in a case of a cleft palate, what happens? So the wall gets you know, jeopardized, and the patient can have like a kind of fistula between the oral cavity and the nasal cavity resulting in various complications. The oral cavity can be divided into various spaces. Okay, So if there is an abscess or a cyst or a hematoma, you will have to know where exactly the procedure is being done. Is it being done in the lingual space or is it in the sublingual space? The sublingual space can also be determined as superficial or deep whether and there is one muscle which is involved called as a supramylohyoid. So on top of supramylohyoid or at the level of the supramylohyoid it becomes a deep sublingual space. So you need to know lingual space, sublingual space, is it superficial or deep then as a submandible you know the mandibular space and then the masticator space. So mastication means literally the act of chewing. It is the space that lies on either side of the hyoid bone which is a masticator space.